Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the Yankee Candle Outlet Store and Oshkosh Friends and Family Sale. I have to break this up into a two-part video, so part number two will be coming in a few days, but this is part one. Um, my goal was to only buy five candles at the Friends and Family Sale, and unfortunately, again, it happened where I had a blackout. I can't really remember what happened in the store, but I did record what was in the store. So if you guys want to see that video, the link for that will be down below. But today I am going to just go over the first 10 candles that I purchased. Um, like I said, my goal was to get only five candles and I ended up with a whopping 21. I mean, sometimes things like this happen, especially with candle hoarders. You, you know make goals for yourself, and then it just all kind of goes to hell. But anyway, those of you guys new to my channel, this, oh, oh, she's very camera shy. This is my dog, Miss Snooky Louise. She is um, an Imperial Shih Tzu chocolate in color with a little bit of liver, and she just does not want to be seen. So usually what she does is she'll jump on the back, um, on the bed there. So, oh, there she goes, and she's off. Okay, so... Let me just go over real quick. Um, I mostly got large jars and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. Um, I did pick up more tumblers this time than I did just the classic large jars because um, that's kind of what I, what I did. They did have a lot of large jars there. The store was busy and I mean, this is kind of like what I came up with. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. So my total bill for the whole shopping experience, not just these 10 candles, was $193.41, and that includes the tax. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Now, the large jars at the Yankee Candle store usually run, is it like $27.99 or $27.98? Something like that. So um, when you go into the outlet, though, the outlet price is always $13.99 for a large jar. Because of the friends and family sale, these large jars came out to $8 a piece. So that is like a really good deal. I don't know what my dog is doing back there. Whatever. Um, so let's just jump into the large jars, and this is in no particular order. So the first one that I picked up, and this is, I think, the only fall slash, um, well, Thanksgiving, Halloween-y kind of fall time candle that I got, and this is Apple Pumpkin. Now this is their new label that they have here. Um, I'll show you guys some candles with the old label that they have, but um, I'm going to be completely honest. I am kind of sort of getting used to the new label for Yankee Candle. At first, I was dead set against it, um, but I still love the old labels. I love the classic jar look, but I mean, like I said, I'm kind of getting used to it. So anyway, this is Apple Pumpkin, and it smells just like it says. It smells of apples and pumpkin and cinnamon and nutmeg and all of everything in between. This is two wick. All of their tumblers are two wick um, in the large jar. So I did pick up that one. Another one that I got, and this is in um, the old label, and you guys will see the difference here. This one is Moonlit Garden. Oh, so beautiful, you guys. The wax color on this is a navy blue, and as you can see, the flowers are just blooming, and it just... It just reminds me of like a nighttime walk, like a nighttime stroll with your loved one in a garden. Oh, and it smells so good. This is more of the perfumey type of scented candle. Really, really nice. Um, I guess I can tell you guys the pour dates on these as well. So this pour date is um, 2016 for the Apple Pumpkin. And then the Moonlit Garden is a pour date of, again, 2016. So this one's really nice in the floral category. And then I also, oh my gosh, you guys, this scent is one. These next two candles are literally like not my all-time favorite, but they're pretty high up there. This one is Island Spa. Now, this one kind of surprised me um, when I first bought it. I've had this candle before, but this one definitely I thought it was going to be, you know, something exotic, like mixed with a little floral, kind of like a fresh, clean floral scented candle not at all do you guys know wrigley spearmint gum any of you guys show your hands out there this smells just like wrigley spearmint gum it is like sugary spearmint oh it smells so good 
Oh my gosh, again, two wicks, winter kind of greenish color, kind of a, maybe a mossy, mossy color. This one, I don't know when it was poured because it does have a yellow label on it. Now, if you go to the outlet stores, you might see a yellow label. That does not mean that anything is wrong with the candle. Um, it could mean that there's a slight discoloration with the candle, but usually what happens is the first so many candles that they do in the lineup of the pours, um, the first like 200, they'll stick a yellow label on and they'll go directly to the outlet. And the last 200, they'll go directly to the outlet. So it doesn't necessarily mean that something is wrong with the candle, it just, means that it's for the outlet. So I did pick up that one. And then my next one that I got that I absolutely love is Sunset Breeze. Look at the label, you guys, on this. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at how beautiful it is. Now this, again, is a yellow label, but it is just very, very juicy. A lot of mango in here, a lot of papaya in here. Um, it is in the fresh category, but to me, it's a very, very tropical fruit, and I absolutely love it. Um, this is going to be one that I'm definitely going to be burning in the summer. And then I also picked up the South African Vineyard in the World Journeys. This is a favorite to a lot of people. Um, this one smells just like grape wine. You know, like you're at a winery and you take your shoes and socks off and you like squish the grapes in between your toes. That is exactly what this smells like. It smells so good. I've, again, I've had this candle before. This is a white label and this one was poured in 2017. So this is a newer one. Uh, for me, it's the older the better. I feel like the longer the wax has been sitting in the oils, um, the more it kind of can marinate in the fragrance oils and it just smells that much stronger. But if you do get a new candle, that's okay. So I also did pick up five more floral jars. Um, and these are, well, some of these are Mother's Day themed because I am gonna be giving a few of these to my mother. So this one is Plumeria, and this is definitely an outlet label. Like you, I don't think you'll see this in the regular retail store. This is definitely outlet, and it says, a mother's heart is a special place where her children are always home. Aw. Oh, smells just like a Plumeria candle. Beautiful, the flower, it's not artificial at all. This one was poured in 2016. And then the next one we have here is Fresh Meadow. This is a nice lime green one with all the little flowers on it. And this one just smells kind of very fresh and clean, almost like it just rained outside and you're like opening up your windows for the first time and the breeze is blowing and it's kind of a little bit warm outside. This one again, 2016 pour. This next one is a World Journeys, and this is in the fragrance French Lavender. By the way, my favorite color is purple, so I tend to gravitate towards the purple color candles, and this one is just amazing. Now, this one is definitely grandma-esque. I feel as though if you don't like floral, um, you're not gonna like, you know, the, the strong pungent lavender. This is very strong, very pungent, but it definitely serves its purpose if that's what you're looking for. Smells so good. This one was poured in 2016 once again. The next candle that I have here is Sweet Pea. This one is definitely going to my mom. I don't really care too much for the Sweet Pea scent, but my mom does. Now this one was poured in 2014 and it is from the Soho Living Collection. I mean, yeah, it's just like straight up Sweet Pea. It's not my favorite, but it is one of my mom's favorites, so that'll be good for her. And then the last candle that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this haul is Lilac. And this one says, to the world you are a mother, but to your family, you are the world. Um, so this one is Lilac. Again, purple, really, really pretty. Smells just like Lilacs, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know, I may keep this one actually because I do love a good lilac. Now let's get into two little gizmo gadgets that I picked up and I know that Christine picked this one up for sure. Um, this is a wick trimmer. If you guys don't know, if you've never had you know, a candle, this is 
kind of a necessity, um, either this or a scissors, and this is definitely much safer. So basically what you do, oh, first let me tell you guys how much it was. So this originally was $9.99, and on 30% off for the friends and family sale, it was $6.99. So, um, yeah, let's just take this off here and I will kind of demonstrate to you guys what it is. So why is it so long and tall? Because you really want to get all the way down to the bottom when you trim your wicks um, as the candle burns. But this is what you do. You basically, you put your wick trimmer in there and it is tilted and you just kind of trim the wick. And see the little wicky wicks? It came out. So this you would throw away. And this basically pre prevents um, soot from happening in the candle as, you know, you go along and you burn. So I did pick up the wick trimmer. And then I also got another Yankee Candle lighter. Now this is by Zippo, but it is for Yankee Candle. And that is what this one looks like here. So this one was originally $19.99. And then on um, sale, it came to $13.99. So what I love about this is that it has this little bendy thing. So you can, you know, get it to where the flame comes out of here. And um, you can go all the way down into the candle. See how far that goes? Um, and you won't burn yourself. So this is a really nice little gadget to have. Um, and like I said, they sell these at the outlet. They sell these at regular retail. So definitely check those out. So that was my first little friends and family Yankee Candle haul. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will be having another one where we will be showing my remaining 11 candles that I bought plus a wax warmer. So that's going to be exciting. And I will be explaining what a wax warmer is just briefly um, and how to use one. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not yet. And I will see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.